guy. You're just getting started here. Well, I listen. I, <laughs> I, I'm not very new. That's for sure. So, what is your responsibility at a show like this? Because you're a special operations guy. Yeah. Well, we, we're just we do security, make sure this stuff doesn't get ripped off. Oh, so like a million dollars doesn't walk out of a booth? That's correct, and there's a lot of money here. There is. I mean, in the Sony booth alone, somebody told me there's over $10 million worth of inventory. I think they probably have more than that. Here. I wouldn't be surprised after walking through there. I mean, there's a couple of cameras over here that are worth a couple hundred thousand um, sitting right back of me. Could you make sure someone puts those in our car before <laughs> yeah, we go? Sure, no, just kidding. Um, so. Are you involved from previous experience in the entertainment industry? No, not at all. We're, 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 uh, we've been doing work for Canon for about, for as long as I've been here. And, uh, and uh, they like what we do. I guess we keep open, we keep awake. That's nice. So um, how many days or weeks ahead do you come to a show like this and start working? Well, I should, this show is, was fairly, uh, it's, started it launched fairly fast but it's something it's something like ces they it, it can be two or three weeks so you actually work for canon specifically on their events so if they have well a on this like one this, on this one yes okay if they were to have a show in another city would you go work on it also uh, not us but uh, there are people who do in fact do that okay and how many people are involved in putting on a show like this <laughs> I, don't know. I lost who, count who the knows Quite these are the geniuses who make it happen. I mean, these these Seriously. booths cost mega bucks. Absolutely. Me mega mega bucks, and they do design them over uh, uh, sometimes years. This is a brand new booth. By the way. It's interesting because when people come in here, they don't really realize everything that goes on behind the scenes. And that's why we're shooting some of the footage of that type of stuff. But also the amount of money Pardon that me, is spent just building displays huge, like this. Huge. This display alone could be a $5 million it display could, it, between it, staffing, it could hard be, work, It could logos. even be more than that. Wow. So, some, of the, uh, some of the booths at some of these shows can, uh, can cost upwards of $16, $20 million. And that's just the booth, not including the people, the staff, that's it, correct. That's all correct. the literature to promote, business cards, hotel expenses. So it's obviously obvious that the, uh, the people who put these things on, it's got to be worth it. Absolutely. If not, they've got a great tax write off. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, nice Mr. Special you. Operations. You got it. Thank you, and have a great show. So, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I started when I was 10, so it's been, I don't know, five so, or six years now. Uh, it's, it's been, you, uh, do you, you must enjoy life. doing I it. I do. I, I, I've worked in radio and television and film. Wow, this is the reverse interview, the interviewee you got it. and the interviewer. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I've been retired for a long time. I, I was in the computer business most of my life. Really? And uh, about two years ago, I decided I'd go, since I was still vertical, I would go back to work for Apple Computer. I work, wow. I work at where one of those blue shirts at this nice. store. So it's fun. Question then, since sure. you're a computer guy. Because the thing that we've been observing since we've been here, because I actually got here Friday night, we have spent the last two days trying to find internet speed in this town because none of the hotels have it. Let me tell you, this Is town this, has real problems with internet, and I can... That's an understatement. Well, I've had dial-up that was faster. The problem they've got, frankly, is that uh, it's a combination of two th three things. One of them is that because of the way the buildings are set up here, we have got real tough, it's really tough to produce decent uh, internet uh, service. I mean, uh, it's The Wi-Fi even around here, well, is, that, is it like we've gotten near Hangar 57 or something in, well, it, in the desert? It is, it, that's not it, but uh, if you take, for instance, in this building today, I think there are about 35 different uh, Wi-Fi networks up. So wow. there's an awful lot. I mean, that's that's an that's awful a lot, lot of, of signals. That's right. a lot of competition uh, crashing with each other. So, right. so there are some technical difficulties with the, uh, making this happen. But I think also the uh, I don't think the hotels have done a really good job of what they could do. Uh, well, it's interesting because we were literally dialing for hotels with my crew over the last two days, and there were some hotels where it's like, hey, you can get 30 meg down. Okay, what's your upload speed? Oh, we don't have that. Zero. <laughs> well, no. What if I want to put a picture on Facebook? We Can't don't have do that. It. And I didn't know if that was maybe a sports book issue. They were afraid people would be leaking I sports don't, books. I don't think so. So I, it has nothing to do no, with. No, my opinion. And my opinion is that the technical. They, 
not, it isn't, compared to other places, it's not, a, it does, it's not high on their list. Really? It's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, for uh, the amount the city has grown got, and transient people coming from around the planet, I would have thought it would have been but as it, advanced as the Los Angeles but it, or New York. But it, on the other hand, we have a thing called, uh, uh, there's a, an amazing place here, which is where uh, about three, uh, well, actually five major pipes connect right. all, from all over the country. So we have one from a... You have a from, big hub. We have a really here big, somewhere. Yes, huge. And it's, it's kind of like... Uh, like an OC3 or it's something? Real, oh, it's, 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 it's one of the... It's, it's phenomenal. So it's... We've got state-of-the-art stuff. Well, which you we would have to because into. of DOD's area in the desert yeah, there. That's one of that the reasons. Alone. But it's just it happens to be physically there. So, that, wow. so that's really, that's neat. Now, since you've worked in the in industry of, of, of telephony or computer technology, why is it, without necessarily naming names, but to get a clearer picture on it, that companies will represent, well, we have high speed, but their speeds aren't what they might want people to think they are. At least that's been my experience. I don't, that I can't answer. I think that one of the things is that technology is a lot more complex than you think it is. I mean, it, it, it's not, you know, when you just, when you say 3G, 4G, you know, what the hell. Yeah, high speed, what is high speed? But it is a, uh, what it will happen though, and it's gonna happen fairly fast. This, the new, the new, what they call LTE or 4G, LTE, it's gonna come yeah. in, yeah, it's gonna come in fast and you're gonna see marked improvement in service. So much so I went and bought one of those devices today because of the hotel situation we just discussed. And we went from having less than a megabyte up or down to 15 meg up and down in the same hotel, yeah. jumping on the 4G LTE. Yeah. And that's today. Blink and in five minutes we'll have something else. It's well, going it's, it, it's gonna be really phenomenal. And, and, and by the way, that's gonna have, all that's gonna have a major impact on this whole industry. The, the broadcasting mm -hmm. industry is in huge change. Huge change. It's going to change dramatically. And well, that and now that people can be their own television channel on the internet. You got it. You develop enough programming and an audience behind you, you can become viral. Well, one of the things you might want to do is, if you get a chance tomorrow when they open this thing, look at their four, uh, their 4K <laughs> movies that they they produced. We just saw some at the Sony booth. Well, go in here. These guys have got some amazing yeah, they've, ones. They've, they've uh, the produced, Canon. yeah, produced completely with their new camera. The, the really? new camera is fantastic. Anyway, this 4K is phenomenal. Right. I, I love Canon products. I've certainly used them a lot over the years. Um, and if you take a look at any of this stuff here, this is truly amazing stuff. As I said, I'm a, a landscape photographer. And I, I mean, wow. it's, it's an amazing thing to see what has occurred technologically. Yeah, because now you can get a film book without having to get oh, all well, the expense. You, and you can manipulate a maneuver uh, way better than you could in a dark room. Right. I and mean, it's really phenomenal. And, it, and these new cameras, which of course are both, both uh, Digital. Uh, digital. Well, they're HD. both uh, uh, still cameras and uh, and uh, video cameras. Right. I mean, I've got a little camera which I shoot, which I do all my pictures in the desert and wherever I shoot. It does video and it's phenomenal. It's 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 a couple of years old, but you could uh, so I could shoot video and stills with the same camera. It's a Canon. Right. I, I um, went to um, a show recently that someone asked me to go to. And we were able to shoot with a Canon. There it is. HD quality. That's correct. Literally yes, video. That's right. And surround sound on this little still camera. That's correct. This camera shoots not only video, it's fantastic. but audio and stills. It's and, a, and amazing the way the technology. They're new. They're new to the G11, which is just the point and shoot is terrific. By the way, what's happening is in these in the in your in your phones and I like an iPhone the new iPhone 4s it's got a phenomenally uh, phenomenal uh, still camera in it. Wow and it also shoots high definition television right and the new the newest the iPad the new iPad well, has, everybody's coming out with it the Samsung does yeah. the same thing well, the or... new iPad the new iPad is spectacular it's got four times the 
definition of what it used to have. They call it what a, a retina display, and that is amazing. I almost bought one today. Oh, yeah, I bought one. They were out of stock. Well, we have them in stock over at the form shop, so come on in. You do? Yeah. You know how to reach me. Yeah, well, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> well, you can always, I, since I don't have your card, I'm thinking it's on you now. Okay. All right. Anyway, Very nice, nice to, to see you. And, All right. And uh, good luck. Thanks. So do you, do you, uh, uh, is this a schedule kind of, do you have a, a, yeah, if you shoot me an email, we will shoot you links on where you can see it and, and follow what we're, we're doing with this. Could we also get a still shot of you and I together? Sure. Do I need to squat down? Or no, thank no, you. No, Good. I can't. <laughs>